that is missing in our generation, particularly in America, I believe is missing with many of God's people in this nation. Something is missing, hear me well. And it's critical to our assignment. So we can come to church and we hear the word of God. A person gets saved and they hear the word of God and they hear truth. They're getting the word. They're, they're in church. They're hearing the word of God. They're filled with the spirit of God. They have joy. They have peace. They have love. They have faith. But there's one thing that we'll see in the book of Acts that God's people had that some of us are missing and it's called boldness. Lord have mercy. Everybody say boldness. Come on, say it with some boldness. <laughs> Everybody say boldness. boldness. Lord have mercy. We have been sold a bill of goods in this country to think that my religion is a private matter. Where did that statement come from? I can tell you it comes from the pit of hell. That doesn't come from God. There is nothing about what God has doing, has done in us, is doing in us, or has called us to do that is private. He said the great commission, he said, go and make disciples of all nations. There is nothing about what God has called you to do or put in you or assign you that is a private matter. That comes from hell. That doesn't come from God. But we've been sold that bill of goods in this nation, so we don't want to offend anybody. We don't want to be uh, politically correct and want to make sure that we do our own thing. I'm not trying to push my religion on you. You don't push your religion on me. I'm serving the God I believe, and you believe the way you believe. Lord, have mercy. Boldness. Everybody say boldness. boldness. Y'all got 2 Timothy chapter 1. 2 Timothy chapter 1, this is, this is Paul's dying letter to his spiritual son, Timothy. And one of the things that Timothy struggled with was timidity, being timid. Come on, sir, please hear me. Everybody has got their own unique personality traits. Some of us are one way, some of us are another way. Some people have a natural personality trait to being a little more reserved. Come on, somebody. And some of us have a personality trait where we just got a big mouth and can't, they can't keep it shut. <laughs> come on, somebody say amen if that's you. No, come on, look, I just talked about you having a big mouth and those y'all didn't want, some of y'all know that's what you, how you are. If that's you, come on, just say amen if that's you. Don't it. Now, look, I know some of y'all, and some of y'all didn't raise, didn't open say a thing, and I know you got it. I won't call you out in church. I won't do that to you. I said the word passive is not even in the Bible. Lord, have mercy. Everybody looking at me. The word passive is not even in the Bible. There is nothing that God has put inside of us that ought to be, ought to be passive. Nothing. Oh, my goodness. See, this is the thing. There was a word ashamed. Hear me well. Let me, let's read verse 7 one more time before we go there. Verse 7 again says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. He's not given us a spirit of timidity and cowardice or being shy and bashful. Come on, somebody. Please hear me. He's not giving us a spirit of being shy and bashful and, and then lacking self-assurance. God has not given us that spirit. Come on, please hear me. Because I know many of you that are here or hearing this CD and you struggle with that. You can say, well, I had low self-esteem or there's different things that went on in your life that may have caused you to be a little more reserved, reserved or, or lacking some self-confidence or lacking some self-assurance. And the God says, I didn't give you that spirit. And even if your personality is not one that's forth, forceful or forthright, you still, there's still something that God has put inside of you that's assertive and aggressive and powerful, and you got to tap into that. It's called boldness. Come on, somebody. I, there's a word ashamed that you'll see in the scripture. And we are living in a generation of people in this nation of Christians who are frankly ashamed of the gospel that saved them and the Lord they say they serve. 
I'm going to say that one more time. We are living in a time where people are, t are just ashamed of the gospel and Paul said in Romans chapter 1 I am not ashamed of this gospel they are just ashamed of it oh they won't admit it ashamed simply means to be dis have discomfort or embarrassment discomfort embarrassment shame oh my goodness an unwillingness or restraint out of fear or fear of ridicule, ridicule or disapproval. An unwillingness or restraint out of fear of ridicule or disapproval. Just ashamed. I don't want to say nothing because I don't know what anybody's going to say. What they're going to think about me. What they're going to think about. What, what is my boss going to say? What are my friends going to think about me if I tell them how I serve the Lord? What are, my what are they going to think about my family is going to say about me if I let them know I don't believe I'm going to do this? If what, are my pe what are people going to think about me or say about me if I open my mouth and declare how good God has been? It's being ashamed. So therefore, we buy the notion it's a private matter. So, so therefore, if I convince myself that what I believe and my faith is private, then I give myself an excuse to never say anything. There is no such verse ever in the scripture that says anything about your walk with God and your being private, and your conviction in him being private. Oh, Jesus. This is what boldness means. It means no hesitation in the face of actual or possible danger. No hesitation in the face of actual or possible danger. It means daring, fearless, courageous, audacious, brave, and strong. Lord have mercy. Let me say it again. That's what boldness means. It means no, no hesitation in the face of actual or possible danger. You just don't even hesitate. It means daring, fearless, courageous, brave, strong, audacious. <laughs>